<laughs> welcome to another uh, ah! spooky. Uh, welcome to another <laughs> spooky episode of Tomahawk and Stew Pitch a Podcast. Hi. Where, where we take turns coming up with mostly terrible ideas for podcasts, but occasionally really good ones, and mm. then we improvise a little sample of each one. Oh yeah. I'm Tomahawk. <laughs> I'm Stu. <laughs> and I know norm- I normally do that bit before I say the name of the show. Oh, you got a ghost. <laughs> There was a there was a fly. Oh, I thought it was a ghost on camera. No. I saw it fly across. You you could like put like a ghost. <laughs> 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 All right, Stu. Do you want to start us off, or shall I start us off today? You know what? Go ahead and lead us off. Cause All right. Yeah. Our pitches this episode will be spooky. I think a great idea for a podcast, specifically for Halloween, mm-hmm. would be mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. a jump scare podcast. Okay. So. I don't fully know what that means, but let's find out in the moment. Okay. Let's just uh, hit, hit the button and play the clip, and we'll hear what the show is like. <laughs> Boop. Hello, welcome to another episode of the Jump Scare Podcast! Jesus Christ. A show where we throw in as many jump scares as we can. <laughs> but not at, uh, you know, to the point where it feels like it's diminishing returns on each jump scare. Because, you know, once you know they're coming, it's like, well, what are they going to be? Oh, yeah. What do we do in the meantime of the jump scares? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this wasn't very well thought out. This is just the first episode of what's going to be a 500 episode long series, the Jump Scare Podcast. What, My... if, what if we like go through and like we say our favorite jump scare and then we play that jump scare? Mm. No! <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah. This is not good. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. Wow, Stu, what a good show! <laughs> ah! It wasn't over. I hate it. <laughs> wow, Stu, what a great show. <laughs> okay, so let's hear your first pitch. But before we do hear that first pitch, hi there, viewer, please. Uh, like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'd appreciate it. <laughs> Go ahead, Stu. <laughs> so, you know something that's really spooky and it lives with us in our heart of hearts? Weeaboos. Yes, but also monkeys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Proceed. So, I'm going to be 100% honest. When I came All up right. with this idea, I forgot we were doing the spooky podcast today. <laughs> So, I um, I named it Monkey Business, and <laughs> and it's literally and it's us keeping you up to date on the hottest monkey news from around the world. <laughs> Stu, <laughs> yes. Before we started recording, you said, "Oh, I have this great idea for a monkey. Th- <laughs> I got a monkey pitch," and I followed that up by saying. Are we are we doing the Halloween po- episode today? And then you said, "Yeah, yeah." Because Why I'll, didn't you just say no? Be, well, because <laughs> why didn't you say? I oh, I forgot. I didn't want to disappoint you. How do you think I feel now? <laughs> what? <laughs> I wanted to prolong it to make sure that you weren't disappointed with me before we started, because that would have thrown off your whole vibe. Uh. <laughs> Fine, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Just give us a sample, Stu. Let's do okay, it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Welcome back to Monkey Business with Stu. Today I have a special guest, Tomahawk. Uh, that's a common misconception. I am not Tomahawk. Oh. I am disappointed. That's my name. <laughs> I'm disappointed. Can you give us some information as to why you're disappointed? Well... <laughs> Friends just kind of always let you down, you know. I'm just got I got some personal stuff going on. Don't worry about it. Let's just jump into this uh, this this whole thing you got. I'm just excited to be oh, here. Oh yeah. I'm uh, disappointed. <laughs> I'm disappointed to be here, but I'm here and I'm gonna try and be excited. I'm so sorry. <laughs> now you're fine. <laughs> um. So recently, this is pretty recent. Mm-hmm. The monkey gangs have returned to Thailand. Thailand Ooh. is being terrorized by gangs of monkeys. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Was that the right reaction? No. Um, 
Oh, I, figured, I figured you'd be a little bit more enthused because you're actually in Thailand now uh, doing our correspondence. How'd I get here? <laughs> How'd you do that? I went the, from being disappointed to impressed. The the magic of editing, my friend. Wow. Yeah. Look look at all this Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> look at all those monkeys. <laughs> look at all these monkeys. <laughs> disappointed. What do you see down there in Thailand? Well, if you look over this way, you'll see a building, probably. Uh, mm -hmm. That looks like a building to me. Uh -huh. And this over, this over here, mm -hmm. this is a little monkey. I wonder if we're going to hear a, a little monkey sound. I don't think we did. You, can, you, you should just edit in another jump scare. Because then this is just more of the jump scare podcast. <laughs> we, we played the long ah, time. Welcome to another episode of the jump scare podcast. A show where we do jump scares. <laughs> and we invade other podcasts. <laughs> you think you're listening to a different podcast, but then ah, it's the jump scare podcast. <laughs> You thought you were going to get a podcast about monkeys. Well, you were wrong. You're an idiot. You got 75% of a podcast about monkeys. Let's not get ourselves. That was less than 75% about monkeys. <laughs> what a great show. Was that everything you hoped and dreamed it would be? I wanted to get to the part where you interviewed a monkey and then I made monkey sounds to talk to you as a monkey. <laughs> we're going to have to cycle back through some pictures eventually. I'm yeah. sure we can do it later. Here's something I've been thinking about. Mm -hmm. All right, so... What if there's a house, mm -hmm. right? And this house has been around for a very long time, like hundreds of years. Okay. People keep dying in the house, and they turn into ghosts. Oh, okay. Right, right? Mm -hmm. So what this leads to is ghosts of different generations living in the same house. That's got to get awkward at some point. Right, right? Ghost so what house. if a modern person mm -hmm. decided to start a ghost podcast and his only guest can be his ghost roommates okay. from hundreds of years ago. Okay, okay. I think this could be interesting. Okay. Let's go ahead and see a little sample. <laughs> Welcome to the We're All Ghosts Here podcast, where we really are all ghosts here. She doesn't even ghost here. <laughs> she, do <laughs> she doesn't even ghost here. <laughs> My first guest today is... Uh, she actually does ghost here. Her name hmm. is Elizabeth. She died in the 1700s. Hey, this is an old and, ass house. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And it, it's, uh, it's you. Hi. Thank you for being here, Elizabeth. Hi. How, how are you today? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm dead. I mean, we all are. I thought, but, wait, are you alive? No, 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 I'm dead. Oh, you're dead too. Yeah, this is a podcast for ghosts, by ghosts. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Makes more sense. What's the podcast? Yeah. Good question, good question. We'll talk about it later. Oh. Um, but what I want to talk about, you said you already brought up that you died, so it doesn't mm -hmm. seem like something that you're trying to run away from. How did you die? You know, it was it was a grave accident at the local sawmill. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Walk us through that, if you don't mind. I was walking to school from home, and... You walked into a sawmill. <laughs> it was on the way. Um, so, was it like a shortcut? But listen, if you want me to tell the story, I'm I, need, listening. I need you to get off my back <laughs> on this. Sorry. Like, all the way off my back. <laughs> all if right, I was on so, your back, I'd fall right through. <laughs> You're a ghost. Well, but we're both ghosts, so there's got to oh, be some kind of... out. Yeah, it yeah. cancels out. We're, we're, we're just dudes now. Well, not me. I'm a chick. You're a lovely lady. <laughs> Any... <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Continue with your story. While walking through the sawmill, there was a few uh, rapscallions who were there. Mm. Um, that's a word from the 1700s. Scallions who love listening to rap. Oh, yeah. And, I was bad at history. And they dared me that I couldn't jump into the deep end of the pool at the local sawmill. They had a pool there. They had a pool there? Yeah. You, yeah, you just okay. got to trust me on this one. All right. Yeah. Um, and so I'm like... Of course I can do that. And then after I jumped in, I realized that if if I swam, then that would mean I'm a witch. So 
I, I decided to let myself drown because it's preferable to whatever they did to witches. I think they crucified us back then. So did you jump into a pool or like a river? No, it was a pool. Why did they have a pool and a sawmill? I don't know. I didn't build the sawmill. If it was like a river and it was like a water mill, Listen, that I was, would make sense. I was four. I don't get a choice in what happens with the sawmill. Oh, you're you're four? Yeah. Well, you know, Do you age if, after I'm, you, you die? Know, I'm 325 now, but yeah. Okay, so as you can tell, I'm pretty new to this whole ghost stuff. Obviously. Like, mm-hmm. I'm, le- I'm, I'm still learning. Yeah. So will I like age slowly here in like the ghost realm? No, you just stay how you died. You looked like this when you were like... <laughs> yes, when I was four, I looked like a big black man. <laughs> You know, you know how much paperwork kept me out of slavery? <laughs> wow, what a good show. <laughs> I actually really like that show a lot. All right, it's your, it's your turn. Um, back on the subject of monkeys. <laughs> no. Okay, fine. <laughs> this just in, you can now pay $5 to put Hello Kitty in a super monkey ball. I don't know what that means, to me, being honest. Me, me neither. All right, what's your next <laughs> pitch? <laughs> no, um... Something spooky. Something spooky, I bet. Something spooky. Something well, spooky. Let's do a show where it is us just debating the best and worst Halloween candies. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. This will be some classic Tomahawk Stew Fair. What you doing? Oh, you Googling candy? Yeah, because I it's been at least six years since I've trick-or-treated. So Okay. Well, while you Google it, I'm going to use BANG! Welcome to another episode of the Jump Scare Podcast. Or whatever I called it the first time. I think that's what you called it the first time. All right. <clears throat> you know what candy is really slept on? Uh, candy corn. Actually, yes. <laughs> that was an opposite jump scare. <laughs> That, that was when, like, you expect something scary, but nothing happens. And then you're like, whew. And then you turn around, and then something scary happens. That was that bit in, like, the horror movie where, like, there's the sound of a jump scare, but it was just, like, your cat jumping up on a windowsill. Yeah. Um, it was a, it was a, I call that it was a, uh, it was a fake out. Yeah. Uh, cheap filmmaking. Anyway, <laughs> anyway. So let's talk about candy corn. Candy corn is delicious, and you can put it on your teeth when you're when you're a kid you can like fit them over your teeth yeah yeah and you get like fangs yeah like candy corn and then fangs you, then you bite your dad and he's get, he gets mad and he sends you to your room because you got that candy corn embedded in his arm yeah plus all like the spit mixed with candy corn like in his arm hair and, he's like, and the blood yeah and that because you broke because you broke the skin yeah good times What's, do you think people are going to get mad at us because we are both pretty good with candy corn oh definitely it's I've, like the internet's least favorite candy i don't see why because uh, when uh, when almond joy and mounds exist exactly anything with coconut get it out of here but uh, also like those almonds. circus peanuts they're like packing peanuts and they're gross and I hate them. Yeah, just give us peanut M&Ms. They're a thousand times better. Give me chocolate. Give me give me peanuts. Yep. I look, if kids die because of nut allergies, <laughs> so be it. Listen, the human race would be stronger as a whole if we just killed off people with peanut allergies. Imagine aliens come to our planet mm-hmm. and they use peanuts as a weapon. Yeah. <laughs> That, that's Ridiculous. like that's like fourteen percent of the world gone. Wow, dude, that was a very average show. The monkey show is better. <laughs> I don't think that's true. <laughs> <laughs> what if we did like a ghost hunting podcast? Ooh, okay, that'd be pretty fun to do. Like, like an extra Patreon reward for Halloween. Like, we can meet on Halloween. Let me see when Halloween is this year. It's on the thirty first of October. Oh, that's that's good actually. Um, yeah, let's yeah, yeah. see. Hey, that's on a Sunday. Boom. We go ghost hunting on Halloween. Sure. That sounds cool and good. All right, so let's give the people a sample of what a ghost hunting show would be like. Hi, welcome to another episode of Whoa, Tomahawk and Stu are ghost hunting. That's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> the show where Tomahawk and Stu are doing some ghost hunting, and that's pretty cool, you oh, know? Oh, yeah. And uh, we are in a uh, creepy old abandoned house. 
And I think this is pretty cool and good. You know, I'm having a blast, I'm not gonna lie. We have a tape recorder here, or at least a Google uh, search image of a tape recorder <laughs> that has been inserted over my hands. And we're gonna sit here and we're going to uh, hit record and while we talk and leave some spaces for some answers and then we'll play the recording back. Oh. Like ghost hunters do on those TV okay, shows. Okay, yeah. Stu? Yes. You're getting on my nerves. Go away. <laughs> All right. So, hey, ghost. What's up? Do you, do you have a name? Yeah. What is your name? Michael B. Jordan. Like like the actor? Yeah, I, that's me. My, oh, you were the yeah, actor. Yeah, it's me, Michael B. Jordan. Just to prove that, what's the B stand for? It's, it's just a B. That, that can't be true. It's ch- it's just a B. It's it's Bakari. That's his that's his middle name. It's Michael Michael Jordan. Michael Michael Jordan. I was an actor in my day. What are your famous roles? I played Michael B. Jordan in Stuck Stepsister Three. Oh, you were a film actor. Yeah. I thought you were like a stage actor. No. When did you die? Eighteen seventy-two. Wow, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> film. Film didn't exist back then. Well, it wasn't filmed. It was actually just live. <laughs> oh, you were a film actor. Yeah. I thought you were like a stage actor. No. Well, it wasn't filmed. It was actually just live. So it was a play. <laughs> no. So what was it? <laughs> People just kind of showed up at my house. <laughs> and what happened in this this uh, <laughs> performance art piece? <laughs> well, you see, sometimes my stepsister would get stuck and I'd have to help her get unstuck. Okay. (laughs) All right. With my penis. Well, Stu, this was our first ever special episode, and wow, what a train (laughs) wreck. I I want to say it almost went well, but it really didn't. All right, Stu, is there anything you want to plug? I actually made a Twitter just for this. Well, and other things. Because wow. my original Twitter is riddled with porn. Um, <laughs> I, I follow maybe 90 people and 85 of them are porn stars. Uh, so I'm like, this isn't good for trying to, you know, get our podcast out there. <laughs> so um, I made a new Twitter. And it's completely clean. I don't use that for porn at all. <laughs> Be sure to check out our Patreon which is uh, patreon.com slash tomahawk and stew uh for one dollar a month you can support us and we'll give you a shout out at the end of each episode uh today we are shouting out justin thanks justin for your support he's in one of the one dollar tiers thank you justin if you give us five dollars a month you get bonus content basically every friday nice please subscribe to my channel (laughs) i'd appreciate it you can uh, follow me on Instagram at Tomahawk Presents, and I think that's it. Nice. Probably. We, we did it. We did it. We made our worst episode since the Sock Puppet episode. We, we took an idea for a podcast that gave us infinite you know, creativity and funneled it down into one subject, and we did it. And it was bad, I think. Or it was great. I bet. I. You know what? You you'll definitely mark your calendars for next year, whether to avoid. Okay, this bye. Epi- okay. <laughs> no, go ahead. I'm just kidding. No, it's fine. No, no, no. Go ahead. No, finish. just just cut my part. It's okay. No, no, no. No, it's okay. This is all gonna stay in. <laughs> <laughs> me being all sad because you cut me yeah. off. Uh huh. I don't really remember what I was gonna say. Uh, stay tuned for next year. Bye. Jump scare!